Objects in Illustrator don't have to be solid like the objects that we've drawn so far. Also available to um, Illustrator is, um, is uh, an opacity setting. And up here at the top is probably the most common way for you to find that opacity setting. Um, so if I take this um, rounded rectangle that we were doing the gradient on, put it on top of this other object, I can lower the opacity, make it a bit see-through so you can kind of get this um, sort of shaded glass look to it. Um, if I click on the word opacity, I actually get a miniature opacity panel. Um, the opacity panel is also over here with our other panel, so any way you want to get to it is fine. Uh, I'm just kind of in the habit of going to the top most of the time. And there's a lot of different options. Um, where it says normal, I can go in here and there's what we call blending modes inside of here. And you can see it does something slightly different each time um, I choose one. So for instance, this one is color burn. Um, let's maybe make this um, a little bit bigger for you to see. Um, I choose color burn and it does some effects between the two layers um, to create you know, a special sort of transparency. Um, let's look at a couple of the other ones. We use these a lot more in actually in Photoshop, um, but they are still used from, from time to time in our intro to digital image design class, DID1. You can see, so each one does something slightly different. Um, and we'll get into more of the science of what it's actually doing when we get into Photoshop. For right now, in our Illustrator unit, you can see um, that it creates some special effects from one layer to the next.